Your three minute Q&A period for the Scotiabank Climate Action Challenge will now begin. How do you ensure that your project, um, that the impact of your project is long lasting? Gardening uh, is a project that you reap benefits year after year. And that's simply how gardens work. Uh, as a garden stays in location longer, it reaches more community members as awareness grows. Next question. Uh, next question. Do you have plans to scale your project? Why and how? Yes, we plan to scale our project. Um, the Samaritan House, an organization we work with, this year is developing an entirely new garden in a different plot. We are also expanding the current garden location we have. We have rights to land that we are going to develop into. Um, this is a huge endeavor that changes a lot of things, but maybe that'll come up in other, in other questions. So next question. What was the biggest challenge you faced when implementing this project and how did you overcome it? Um, this project is very well organized. Um, it is a project that I inherited. Uh, that being said, it, it requires a lot of personal manual labor, working in the sun, uh, hand pumping water. Um, how did I overcome it? Diligence, persistence, endurance. Next question, please. Can you clarify what you achieved just this year versus in previous years? This year we fed um, or we gave land to roughly 12 families. So there were 12 uh, families, communities, uh, families in the community that were able to grow their own food. Um, there are a number of uh, people who are not indigenous to Canada or immigrants who are able to grow their own local food. Um, we were able to achieve that. We were able to produce more than um, 1,100 kilograms of food that went directly to uh, the food shelter in town, going directly to the most needy members of the community. Um, there are edu uh, gardening education workshops provided by the city that we were able to connect community members to. Um, next question, please. How did your team secure funding for this project? There is a very small fee charged by, uh, to the community members, which is used strictly for the purposes of maintenance and um, uh, strictly just for the garden. We also work with directly with Samaritan House, who has been fantastic at working with the city and helping me get grants. Uh, next question. How did you conduct your needs assessment? through communicating with the community members and the Samaritan House who has very much has their finger on the pulse. Next question. How do you market your project to your target audience? And there's the timer. Your time has now expired. Thank you.